Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jason. So glad to be back. In our previous video, we finished the trunk connections. Now it's just the time to use those trunks to make and receive external phone calls. We're going to realize it by configuring call control on our PSERS PBX, including the inbound and outbound routes. Today, we'll be focusing on the inbound route to place the rules about every incoming phone call's destination. Let's just jump in. Before setting up the inbound route, let's just have a look at the business hours and holidays. Say we're running a company, there's an incoming phone call. If it's within business hours, we will send it to our company's IVR. Well, on the other hand, if it's out of business hours, we might politely drop it to receptionist's voicemail. To achieve that, we need to set business hours, which is the timetable of our company. So now, let's take Yaystar as an example. The business hour is from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., so we add it as the business hour of this PBX. Meanwhile, our lunch break is from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m., during which nobody will be in the office, so we should add it to the break hours. Then choose weekdays and click on save. However, there are some holidays we can take during weekdays. We can go on holidays. Add those holidays by date, month, or week to help the system identify them. New Year, for example, we usually will also set a destination specifically for it. Like a prompt to say, Happy Holiday, see you soon. By the way, our PSERS PBX does support using feature code to switch business hour status. We can check the feature code and grant permission to extension users by calling features feature code and scroll to the very bottom, even more conveniently. Use our operate panel to achieve a one-click switch. Once switched, the corresponding destination will also be changed accordingly. Now let's get back to the inbound route page. Click on Add. We're going to set up the rule for our company to handle inbound costs. Firstly, name the route to identify it. Note that only letters and numbers are allowed in the name. Special characters and a space are not permitted. After that, we can choose the trunk we want to configure in this rule. Once selected, calls received from this trunk will be managed according to this rule, then we'll be selecting the destination for incoming calls. As you can see here, we offer you many options including specific extension, IVR, ring groups, queues, voicemail, conference, and so on. Here we choose IVR, the interactive voice response, aka auto attendance, as it's the most common choice. By the way, we'll be talking about IVR configuration in the following videos. Now we've built a straightforward inbound route. According to our rule, all calls received by the trunk will be sent directly to IVR. But simple configuration like this will not surface in many cases. We also have more features here that can realize more advanced controls. Let's have a check. Firstly, we can choose multiple chunks. If we have several chunks that serves the same purpose, we can have them all selected in one rule instead of create one rule for each trunk. Then we can enable time conditions for the destination and set up different destinations according to different time periods. We can select the time-based routing mode as based on global business hours, which means the business hours we configured in the previous step, based on custom business hours or custom time periods. As an option, we can also set the caller ID patterns to define the caller IDs that we want to answer specifically or get the list from an existed phone book. Like the VIP customers, their phone calls will be sent to a particular destination. But first, we need to confirm with our carriers that the selected chunks indeed come with caller ID service. Then we have DID pattern. If we have obtained DID services from a service provider, we can assign a destination to your DID numbers here. We'll be on this topic in our following videos as well. We also support inbound alerts, as known as distinctive ringtones for a specific inbound route. Mind that this ringtone is triggered by the PBX but played by the IP phones. So please check with the IP phone provider to know what ringtone is embedded and their name. All you need to do is put in the name of the ringtone file over here. So that when a call was sent through this inbound route, the system will have the phone ringing correspondingly. 
The last function is fax detection. By enabling this feature, the PBX will start detecting fax signals for every phone call. Once it's seen, the fax message will be sent to the destination. It could be a fax machine, or we can also enable the fax to email feature. This feature will make sure that the assigned extension's mailbox will receive an email from our PBX. And the fax will be converting to a PDF file and set as an attachment. Meanwhile, if we want to use the zip chunk to receive fax signal, don't forget to get back to the chunk list. Configure the zip chunk by enabling T.38 support. Now we have finished all settings for the inbound route, click on save and apply for it. We'll see this rule in the inbound route list. We can create multiple inbound routes by adding them one by one or by importing the template. PCR's PBX system will always match inbound route from top down. So don't forget to reprioritize them by clicking the arrow. Okay, that was all for inbound call settings. Now our system can handle external inbound calls with no doubt. Well, we still have much to discuss regarding the call control, so don't miss our next video, please. Alright guys, guess that was all for today's video. Hope you guys like it, and once again, don't forget to subscribe our channel if you're not already. More information about Yaystar Solutions, please visit www.yaystar.com, and I will catch you guys in the next one.